Hey everybody, Logan here. And yes, we're following up yesterday's video with another Tech Rebellion controller from Burlington Coat Factory. Yeah, but you can also get these on Amazon, like I said. I've seen many different variations of these, just like yesterday's uh, controller. Uh, if you haven't watched that one, you like those light up controllers, you can test that out. But hey, we're talking about this one and it's just the wireless controller. So it looks a lot like a PS4 uh, controller without the touchpad and where the touchpad would be is your button configurations. So uh, yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's very simple, it says turbo and vibration function. If you look at the bottom, switch, uh, sorry, switch light, switch, and OLED. And that's it. So vibration function, turbo function, six axis sensor, wireless connection. Eight to 10 hours of gameplay. Um, so we're gonna open this one. We're gonna test it just like we did the previous one. We're gonna test it with two games. Uh, it's gonna be Crisis and Cruisin' uh, Blast because very fast games, very slow game, very precise game. It, it uses all the functions and we're gonna see if the six axis the the gyroscope is actually any decent because that's one thing a lot of people have been asking about on these and i don't have too many um gyroscopic games if that's what you want to call them so i do have crisis so i figured hey we're gonna try it on crisis but with that being said i'm gonna shut up hit that intro unboxes and test this sucker out welcome to rip and data gaming the channel where logan will show you everything Okie dokie. So first of all, like I said, you can get these. I found it at Burlington Goat Factory, which is still a very weird thing to say when it comes to gaming controllers and accessories. But this one was only $19.99. It was cheaper than the, the LED wireless controller, multi light tube, whatever. The afterglow imitation controller, which was $23, $22.99. So basic entry level controller like i said you can get variations of this on amazon who knows maybe even the same exact brand but this is from tech rebellion and we're going to open this sucker up and we're going to uh connect it with the console we are going to test out all the features and see if this is worth twenty dollars to have something that looks like a playstation controller with an xbox setup because that's the way the sticks are laid out okay come on Put you off to the side. Wow, there's not even any instructions in that one. All right, throw that out of there. Wow, I didn't get any instructions in that box. It was completely empty. All right, so here's the look of the controller. Pretty generic, pretty standard. Um... What do we have on the top? That's the USB. So we already see it's a type C, but that's, that's all right. Um, feel in the hand. It doesn't feel too bad. That D pad feels a little cheap. Everything about this controller feels cheap. All right. Type C now on to the show. Whoops. Going down. All right. So if it's anything like the previous one, now that's a problem with it not coming with instructions, that can be a real pain. So maybe it was just mine, but there were no instructions in the box. So with the other one, I hit the home button and the Y button. Yep, okay, and it flashes very fast. There you go, okay. It does have rumble and the rumble seemed pretty weak there unlike the previous one. So with these, make sure you hold the home and the Y button. I really wish there were instructions in that box. That bothers me because not everybody just knows how to do these things. I didn't on the other one because now that I know it's like the 8-bit do, you know, that's that's solid, but not everyone's going to know that. So that's already one detractor. 
So we're going to test Cruise and Blast because it's already open, and then we're going to do um, Crisis. Let's zoom in a bit. There we go. Pick my standard Camaro. Buttons seem to be all right, just from menu usage. All right, unlike the other one, the stick seems pre pretty precise. There doesn't seem to be any input lag. Oh, I hit the back of it. Yep, and you can still... All right, that seems pretty all right. Let us switch games. That felt fine. That honestly felt fine. So let's do that. Now, this game takes a while to load. So we're going to whoop, and then it'll be loaded in. Ha ha. Alrighty. So here we are. Oh, look. So it is a little more responsive than the previous one. So it still doesn't give you that quick motion. It's not terrible. All right. The right stick has some input. Let's see if I turn off the gyro. All right, so we turn off the gyroscope. Yep. A lit. Yeah, that right stick. The left stick doesn't seem to have much input delay. That's why I wanted to check two games. The right stick. Wow, I'm, I'm pushing. Nothing yet. There we go. All right. All right. There's delay. There's delay. It takes a while to kick in. Like here. Let's see. Nothing. You see that? The stick's moved. Nothing. You look how far I have to move the stick until you move. Yeah. That's $20 controller. All right. There's delay. Not terrible. You guys can see it. I wouldn't recommend this. 20 bucks, again, you can still get a PDP or a Power A controller. That's going to be much better. Hey, if you like the design, okay, but I still wouldn't recommend this. Can't, with that much input lag, mm -mm. no, can't say, can't, can't say it's a recommendation. So there you go. I test it out just like I did the previous one. Too much input lag for my likings. Hey, if you're getting it for a kid, who knows? They may not even realize it. Personally, I see it. I feel it. Depending on the games I play, it can actually be very detrimental. And if you're playing any uh, FPS games, you definitely will notice. I barely even moved here in, in Crisis, and I can definitely feel it. Uh, that right stick is worse than the left. Uh, the face buttons are all, all right. There's millisecond delay in the trigger but that's about it uh control wise as in in the hand how it feels is not bad i do like that texture grip it actually feels pretty nice reminds me of a playstation controller i bought before for the ps4 a wired one that was actually really good it used the same slightly the same body mold uh but used these before and it was a much better controller but i can't recommend this controller so hey if you guys have any questions um I, I guess drop them in the comments below, but I would really just say avoid it. If you see these on Amazon, if you see them uh, at Burlington Goat Factory, um, pass it. Just just walk on by, look at it, go, <laughs> um, and pick up a Power A PDA if you want to, uh, you know, save a little money. So thank you guys so much. Follow us on our socials. Again, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.